and welcome to our first episode of structure mapping and so I'm actually going to go through the three basics um, on the three types of structure mapping which is actually labeled right here and it's just actually a simple basic that you need to understand so structure mapping is basically how to actually understand structure when it comes to how you want to see structure to break for you to be able to identify this as your what I saw break of structure to be able to know where the trend is going and then where it is heading to probably okay now let's go into the first um, type of structure mapping so when we come to um, type 1 so on type 1 we have candle body structure mapping and then candle body structure break right so this is basically um, market structure so and the types of structures we are looking at and we are looking at structure bricks and then identification so how to be able to identify structure bricks and then structure mapping right so right so now let's go into um, an in-depth so you see that when it comes to the type 1 uh, structure I as I mentioned earlier we have the structure bricks and then we have the, the um, structure mapping right so it is two types of structure mapping in each uh, right so you have to have the number one is actually how you're going to put your line to be able to determine the brick you want to see on the market structure and in this case we are having um, a candle body uh, mapping and then a candle body brick of structure so which means you want to map your structure on a candle body and then you want to see your structure brick with a whole candle body and with this type of structure brick you are mean that anytime you see with breaking this type of structure you are basically saying that you don't understand uh, you are not taking it as a structure type of structure because this you are considering it as something else and you will not like to get along with it now we come to um the type two also so on the type two we have a uh, structure map with a candle wick and then structure bricks with a candle wick basically what this means is that you are mapping your structure on top of a wick right and you are expecting price to break structure with a wick also as well so this type of structure basically means that anytime you see a wick even if the candle has not been fully produced to break this but the previous structure you are seeing that any wick that comes along and comes across you are seeing that price has actually broken structure in your own view so hence you can see i have a high here and then another high here indicating that price has broken structure creating a new high and then this high has actually um, is what you are able to map to get this structure break as well now let's go to the third structure mapping so each structure mapping has its own uh, pros and cons and in a sense that everything will be explained in the next episode coming in now let's go to the last uh, structure mapping right so basically this last structure mapping is also just basically almost as the same as the rest but also um, in a very simplematic way which I use so this is what I use as my structure mapping and let me explain that for you and the reasons why I use this particular one so basically what you understand about this particular one is that you are using candle wick as your structure mapping meaning that you are drawing your line from a candle wick and you're using candle bodies as your candle brick in it uh, meaning that you are actually expecting to see price brick structure by a candle body not now a candle wick just as the type 2 method so now the type 3 method is basically what i use as labeled here so now with the type 3 it has more advantages um as i as, as i mentioned it has more pros and cons um that's advantages and disadvantages so all this three has its disadvantages and advantages you just have to back test it all to see which one actually works for you and which one doesn't work for you so with these types of structure bricks you need to identify which one you will actually want there uh, you, you feel comfortable trading with and which one you don't feel comfortable trading with you just have to leave all of it you don't combine the three of them and say you want to trade with them when you are not experienced right so you are going to confuse yourself when you are taking the three of them because when you see a structure brick you probably uh, have to mess everything up and then you don't understand what you are even doing at the end of the day so with these types of structure breaking i hope you understand how to actually map and see price break of structure and so i'll see you in the next episode explaining how to how all this three works and how it actually behaves now let's look at the sell side of structure mapping so basically this was the buy side i'm um, sorry i didn't in indicate right so this was the buy side when it comes to structure um mapping right and now we are going to the sell side when it comes to structure mapping let's let me just invent this real quick so now we are now at the sell side of structure mapping now we have this ones um being our loose let's look at this okay so we have let me just actually look at it so you know we have um price breaking structure to the downside it is basically the same method but um in the other way around so basically the first one was a buy side um 
structure breaks and now this is now the sell side structure breaks what it basically means is that when price is falling it is still the same types of method but i just want to see in the view that you are knowing you already know that oh this one is mapping with candle bodies and then breaking with what candle bodies the second one breaks with what uh, uh, map maps with what candle uh, wicks and the and also breaks with what candle wicks but with this one it's a little bit trickier as it intends so this one you're supposed to consider two things you are saying that anytime you see a candle wick uh, as a break of structure the same applies to also a candle body so meaning that a candle body is a break of structure for you and a candle wick is also a break of structure for you but so the the, the simplest ones you can actually go with is the type one and then the type two right so as this one can seem a little bit complex for you to understand as the time goes on because when you're back testing you need to take into consideration of all these things so this one basically has three types of um um structure dividends right if i say dividends don't get me wrong I mean, i'm probably we are not englishmen actually so it that it, it has three types of advantages right so meaning that um most of the times you can be able to see so uh, most of the times you can be able to see a break of wick like this and then go to the downside you are seeing another break with a candle body as well right so it deals down to how you have back tested it and how you have understand it so i will advise every beginner to stay away from this type of structure mapping because it can be a little bit trickier when it comes to um trading so basically we use this mostly in the lower time frames right so if you are the more you get advanced into the trading industry you get to understand how structure breaks on the lower time frames hence you consider most of them and then you leave the rest right but basically the simplest ones i can advise everyone to follow is actually the structure one and then the structure two so um with the structure one and try the structure two you really you already understand that um these are the very simple and also the very basically understood uh, structure breaks in all of the trading uh, industry right because most people actually use this one and others to prefer using this one right but I prefer using this particular one as it actually gives me more understanding onto what I want to see in the market and to and also onto um, onto what I actually like to see in the market. So as time goes on, while we prepare advance into the strategy, I'll be taking you through this type of structure breaks because that is how I trade and I don't want to actually switch to any of this. So hence, I will stay away from both of this. I'm not saying you can't use this. Okay, I'm going to teach also teach you on how to actually understand structure breaks and then. Um, uh, with all these types of uh, structure mapping using um, USDJPY, right? So actually stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you.